This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 215 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Fly. And now he was his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler, only a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King of the Tank! And with the attributions, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Well, it's one of the loudest venues in all of mixed martial arts as we get underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal. Well, we are sold out tonight, and a big reason why UFC President Dana White is donning the four-ounce gloves. On the other side, they have a lot of confidence coming in here tonight that they can beat Dana White in a boxing match. I would say be careful what you wish for. Dana White has some of the heaviest hands in this division and has shown a penchant for producing some of the biggest knockouts we have seen. Dana White has proven to be a force to be reckoned with, and he's got another big one in front of him tonight. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the takedowns of Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez is fantastic at combining his offensive wrestling and his striking together. Makes him very unpredictable. Lands a kick to the leg. Just misses with the jab. Velasquez gets caught by the inside leg kick. Clean with the right hook. He got lit up. Checked. Velasquez gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave him up. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Nice inside leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Velasquez gets caught with that punch. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. And there's a nice straight right. One, two there by Velasquez. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Snaps on the jab. Here to there. He's definitely hurt. with that huge kick. Able to check the high kick. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Just out of range with that right hook. Heavy leg kick, Joe. Oh, big left. Just over two minutes, round one. How about that chin? Oh, big right! By Kane. He's stumbling. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. The kick is there to the body. Wow. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Hard hook. Oh. Wow. Oh. And wow. just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight.
Let's take a look at it again from a different angle. Look at the power in this right hand as it lands. Picture perfect for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Boom! And then he's out. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Kane Velazquez! Well, those who tried to bury Kane Velazquez, you've got to say that was a premature assessment after this performance here tonight. Massive victory for Cardio Kane, the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, and still a guy who many believe is the greatest heavyweight in UFC history. He showed you that prime form here tonight.